Let's do a customer delivery service order. So you're going to go to business tools and drop it down to my customers. Oh. All right, so we're gonna go there. And um, if your customer is not already entered, let's enter them. So I will go ahead and we're gonna create a fake um, customer here. I'm gonna go ahead and put Greg's email in there. some fake information in here right now put that in here so you know what you're gonna do all right and then one two so two three one. this is not our address so it might flag it we'll see what happens um, Delaware okay and then um, so you can put all their birthday information and all that kind of thing on there so we're going to save the customer and then what you're going to do is you're going to add order all right so i hit add order and i can do a customer delivery service or my inventory now the good the, the reason why you this would use this for my inventory is it creates an invoice that you can print a very professional invoice but if we're going to do the customer delivery service where mary Kay will do, directly ship to our customers then we're going to hit customer delivery service we're going to hit add products and i'm going to put um something in the search here so let's do a little free eye makeup remover so i'm going to put so I'll put that there and let's say I want to do, um, I don't know what I want to do. Oh, satin lips. Let's see what comes up for that. Okay. So I'm going to do one of these. Okay. So there's the order, $29. I'm going to scroll, 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 continue to CDS. Okay. Now, I, oh, I forgot. It says I didn't put the, um, you get two free samplers or a lookbook um, with your, um, with your order. And so let me go back and actually order, add those in. So this is good to show you. So you can hit more products, two samples or one lookbook. And so what I'm gonna do is hit no cost, okay, in all categories. And so this gives me the option, one through pages one through five here, of different samples that I can send. So I'm just gonna simply pick the first two. Um, and then it's a good idea to remember what you're sending them so that you can follow up with it. And then um, we're gonna hit continue to see yes and it's going to ask me if i want to do up um, the postal service or ups just depends on how much you want to spend for shipping you can see or print the entire order here so you can get a receipt for your records then you're going to hit next you can either use propay funds for your account you can use the customer's credit card or you can use your own credit card so whichever one you pick is fine and then charge my propay account or you would go ahead and just um, put in one of the credit card information. So that's how you're gonna do a customer delivery service order.